Assalamu alaikum and greetings to everyone. You are now with me, Nadia Melissa, on TVS AM News, 21st November 2017. According to the Thomson Reuters report on the state of the global Islamic economy 2016 to 2017, the Islamic economy, which it defines as consisting of halal food, Islamic finance, halal travel, modest fashion, halal media and recreation, and halal pharmaceuticals and cosmetics, is projected to reach a massive 3 trillion US dollar by 2021. Prime Minister Dato' Sri Najib Tun Razak said, the report also says that Islamic finance assets are projected to have a market size of US dollar 3.5 trillion by the same year. Furthermore, he added, in the period up to 2021, it predicts growth in the organization of Islamic conference countries to be more than double that of the advanced economies. He said this in his keynote address during the 13th World Islamic Economic Forum in Kuching. According to him, Malaysia, as recognised by the report, have made a deliberate and strategic effort to capitalise on the opportunities. Sarawak's vision in becoming a developed high-income state by 2030 can be achieved by diversifying and transforming its economy. Chief Minister Dato' Patinggi Abang Zohari Tun Abang Haji Oping said, the advent of new disruptive technologies breaks the dominance of existing products and businesses while providing room for new products to be successful. He added, the opportunity brought about by the disruptive change has levelled the playing fields in the technology and economic sectors. He said this in his special address during the 13th World Islamic Economic Forum in Kuching. He further said digital economy will be a strong platform and a catalyst for Sarawak to reach out to the global business community as well as to forge international collaboration. He stressed the state government will do everything possible to transform Sarawak into a digital economy powerhouse. This city is hosting world leaders and key industrial players coming for the three-day 13th World Islamic Economic Forum, which begins today at Borneo Convention Center, Kuching. Preparations for the forum, which is jointly conducted by the state government and WIEF Foundation, had been going on at BCCK over the past several days to accommodate more than 2,500 delegates from over 60 countries. Prime Minister Dato' Sri Najib Tun Razak, who is scheduled to officiate the opening ceremony, is set to deliver his keynote address today. Chief Minister Tok Patinggi Abang Johari Tun Openg is also expected to present a special address at the event. Najib is also scheduled to attend several events run in connection with WIEF 2017, such as the 12th Annual Consultation Bilateral Meeting between himself and Indonesian President Joko Widodo and the exchange of several memoranda of understandings. Another highlight of the forum today is the face-to-face -face session with Apple Inc. co-founder Steve Wozniak, who will be sharing his insights on championing creativity, driving change, spearheading innovation and empowering the people during the curtain raiser session, Theme Disruption, A Way Forward. This year's World Islamic Economic Forum, Theme Disruptive Change, Impact and Challenges, examines how disruptive technologies can change the world as well as their benefits and challenges, and at the same time, offers guidelines and knowledge sharing to enable policymakers and leaders from business and other institutions to respond. The forum also creates a platform for the global business community to come together and discuss burning issues such as how to adapt to disruptive changes as well as to find solutions and develop initiatives that can be better prepare the people for the technological revolution that will change their lives. The last World Islamic Economic Forum was held in Jakarta, Indonesia, where it hosted five head of states, 12 ministers, over 300 members of the press and more than 4,000 delegates from 73 countries. And that's all from me, Nadia Melissa, for TVS AM News. Stay tuned for more updates. You can watch this anytime, anywhere.